this is the unboxing of a refractor bag that I bought from China. Let's open and see what is inside. Okay, let's open it. I'm opening it. As you can see, it's quite uh, uh, squeezed into tiny space, but it's supposed to take a refractor up to 90 centimeter or one meter. Let us open the second uh, layer of protection and packaging. Okay, now I've cut this and let's see what is inside. Hmm. As I told, it's quite large. It easily can take one meter refractors. So I'm removing the plastic bag. And you can see this is the refractor itself, refractor bag. There is a zipper and uh, uh, it's quite chunky. Let me open it. Okay, when you open it, uh, there are two sections or three sections. This side is I think, for the optical tube or that side. And this side will be for the mount. And uh, hopefully a little bit of space left for the putting the the actual head of the teles um, the equatorial mount. That's the tripod, sorry, and the mount. So let me bring that and put it inside the uh, bag. This is the Zemex Ico Refractor. Classic vintage Japanese refractor, very good quality uh, refractor, which I'm putting here. I removed this uh, star diagonal because I don't want the stress to be applied on this. So the tube comes in this side and the tripod goes to this side. There is a little space here left, which I can put the mount head with care. Let me see. And the control uh, handles knobs goes here, both of them. And the counterweight I'll put in the pocket which is outside. Just having a look. And accessory tray, I'll put it in the middle part. Probably that's the best place to have it. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, as you can as you can see, I have removed now the uh, eyepiece, 20 millimeter eyepiece with the star diagonal, so there is no danger that it may break the thing. And the counterweight neatly is placed here, and it's stored safely. So let us close everything and see how it is. Yeah, quite nice package. The only thing is that I have to remember, this goes down part. I have to be careful.